What's up, Everyday Blades? Hope you're all doing all right tonight. Whoo, we got a sexy one tonight. And, uh, man, this knife got a bad rep right out the gate and just didn't deserve it. Uh, people screaming about the prize and blah, bliggity, blah. I'm going to tell you right now, don't listen to that crap. Get it yourself. You'll understand. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to get into that yet, but... First of all, this is the James Brand Barnes, and it comes with a sexy little challenge coin. This is a heavy wooden box out of like teak or something. And it's a felt lined box. Let's set that back away a little bit. And here she is. The first time I saw this knife, I don't remember which reviewer was showing it, but I thought, man, that's a sexy knife. And they just went on and on about how the knife wasn't worth what they were charging. I just don't think that's a talking point with this knife or many others. We pay ridiculous money for half of these knives we buy. And half of the ones I got ain't this nice. This is a full titanium integral with contoured scales with insane milling on both sides everything we complain about in these reviews on knives and other reviewers complain about is remedied on this knife look at the landing for the for the pocket clip smooth flat surface lock bar stabilizer now let's see if it has an over travel stop. yeah it has a built-in over travel stop uh non-free spinning pivot there's no hole for a lanyard that some complain about look at the way the, the look at the engineer i want you to see the engineering on this knife look at that pocket clip there's no screws anywhere around here right you take that screw out inside there and then this pocket clip slides out and then the lanyard just has two little holes sticking out of the back. If you want to use a lanyard, it's very unintrusive. Look at the blade on this thing. Hand rub satin flats. Beautiful blasted grinds. I mean, what in the heck is there to complain about with this knife? The action is stupid. I mean... It takes some engineering, buddy, to get the action like that on a titanium integral. One mistake when you're milling this and the whole thing goes in the trash. One ten thousandth of a mistake and you're done. Trash it. Get another one. And I heard some say, well, if it, you know, if it were made in the U.S., it'd probably be worth that $650. No. If this was made in the U.S. with the quality this thing is... Twelve to fifteen hundred dollars all day long. This is all my opinion, right? <clears throat> this is just my opinion. It is sad that this knife got a bad rap out the gate because everybody I've talked to that owns it freaking loves it. I mean, there's a lot of us that pay five, six, seven hundred dollars for knives like the Sleesh Bowie that were what two hundred bucks at one time. If that knife is this great and brings you that much joy, it's worth it. I haven't found anybody to say anything negative about this knife. One that one small minor issue, and I agree with it. <clears throat> the pivot screw, the pivot is too small. It should be the pivot hole is too small for the tool. It's a T6. That should be minimum T8. But it's T8 on this side, but you still have to take this side out. So you got to be careful with that. But that's the only complaint you're going to find anybody to say anything. The log bar just feels so good. They got it perfect. Feels like butter. Dead nut center. I freaking love this knife. 
it's got a little bit of weight to it, but for a full titanium integral, I don't think it has much. I haven't weighed it yet. Let's check it out. It's definitely not going to be a Spider Co. lightweight. 4.7 ounces. This G10, half G10 knife is 4.1. So you damn sure can't say it's heavy. Let's look at it up against a couple other knives. This is the Benchmade Group. So it's a medium to, it's a flat medium size knife. That's, that's what I'll say. It's a regular size knife. Absolutely a full size knife. That's a pair of three. And we'll put the fire tack up there. There are 0.6 ounces difference between these two, I think. And this is uh, even a larger blade and a larger knife. So, not by much though. The action is just butter. Some people don't like the green. I mean, that's a, they make this in different colors. They even have one that has like micarta here. But I would not want that. I, man, this feels so good. The feel of a knife is a lot to do with what we like about it. This knife feels good. I haven't put this thing down since I've gotten it. It's been an awesome mail call this week. I don't even do lanyards, but this thing is so short and thin and out of the way. I'm just going to leave it on there. Because it looks like it takes some rocket science to get it out. But not really. Look at that action. Here. Here. Mmm. Butter. Riot makes this knife. Riot makes killer knives. Especially when you design a killer knife. They can make a killer knife anytime they want to, but if you're going to design a killer knife for them, they can really hit it out the park. And that's what they did here. Now, $650 is a lot of damn money. Don't sit here and think I'm saying it's not. And there are other options for 650 blah, blah, blah. But when I saw this knife, it appealed to me. I wanted it. It was my kind of knife, right? So I got very lucky. And maybe it ain't luck. Maybe this is what they're going for on the secondary. And I got this for 400 That is a deal for me. Home run. Uh, it was like new inbox. I mean, it. you could tell the guy literally took it out, looked at it, flipped it a couple times, and put it back in the box. So if you can find a deal like that, I say, man, jump all over it. If you can afford it, buy new. Because I'm telling you, this is a great knife. Uh, it got a bad rap right out the gate, but I'm I'm throwing my feelers out there to squash that bad rap a little bit. Because I, I think it was overstated a little bit. We pay ridiculous amounts of money for a lot of these knives. I've bought a lot of knives that I felt like I way overpaid. This is not one of them. This is a killer knife. Oh, um, I guess I forgot to mention it's a uh, M390, and it has a model number, a model number or serial number on it. But it's hidden just when you open the knife. You can only see it when you open and close the knife, and it hides away. It's cool stuff, man. These guys thought of everything. Uh, Pay them for their work. They're worth it. And I, I have no sponsorship. I don't know anybody at James Brand. They didn't send me this knife. They wouldn't send me anything. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. I'm just telling you about a cool knife I bought. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.